Sweet Dream New Radio. We're at Pillar Point RV Park, and we have our good friend Mindy with us. Mindy, I never pronounced your last name correctly. It's Hadia. There you go. Like, how do you do? Yeah, I, it's, it's easier to pronounce than it is to spell it, right? Yes. So you have a company called Eat Juice For You. Yes. And that's E-Juice, the number for the letter U, E-Juice yes. For You. Yes. And, and what people, I want them to know on this video right from the start, is nobody has a better price or better, what do you call it? I call it the juice. This is my bottle of it right here, which lasts forever. And there's your bigger bottle of it. Yep. Nobody's got a better price or has better juice than you do. Thank you. Tell me what the juice is. So let's start with that. What well, is the juice? The juice itself is nicotine, pure nicotine, and it's diluted down with propylene glycol and vegetable glycerin. And um, you want to vape at a level below, 24 milligrams or below is what's considered quote unquote safe uh, for vaping. It's very confusing. If you go onto YouTube, there are a lot of videos on there but most of them are, they start with, I've been doing it for 10 years. Mm -hmm. And you go, what are they talking about? It's very confusing. It would be great to have a video, both on RV Dream and on here, mm -hmm. that would really, for you and I, to do a how-to how basics. What Tell us the basics. We have what we call a vape. I call it a vape, you call it a pen. Well, yeah, an electronic so, cigarette or a vape pen. Um, right, and is, you sell these. We sell these on our store. This is a Kanger um, EVOD kit. It comes with two electronic cigarettes. When you pull this out, it also comes with, this is the product authenticity label, um, right. so that you know that's exactly And you said these is. are good good because they're, they're pretty simple. They're very simple to use if you are a beginner and you're overwhelmed, you don't know what to start with. These are very simple. Um, a lot of the products out there, they have so many bells and whistles on them, you just don't know what to do with them. Right, and, and they 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 are electronic, so you have to plug them in and charge yes, them up. Yes, yes. Each one has a battery, and the longer when you use an EVOD model like this, the longer the battery, the longer the life. I use a pink one. I love pink. So if you can see the difference in the battery size, this is the battery. My pink one lasts a lot longer than the silver one. Okay, so that okay. you get batteries that will last longer. Right, and there's a charging cord that. It's a USB port. There's a charging cord in, in the kit included. Can we see that? Yep. So it plugs into the wall or it plugs into your laptop if you, yes, if you want to. Yes, absolutely. So you have a little plug in it and that comes with the vape itself. And yes. that's that's true of every vape. Yes. Every so, pin, every electronic cigarette, whatever you want to call them. Yep. So the right. right, so it just plugs into the wall. Yep, and you know, you know that it's not charged up because the little there's a little light on the vape itself. Right, mine is turned on. Right, you see the, you light. See the light. Yep. yep. Okay, you turn it off, and you go one, two, three, four, five. You'll see it flash, and that means it's turned off. So when you depress the button, it doesn't go off in your pocket, doesn't go off in your purse. Right. A so lot you of have people to people have concerns about that. To get it back on, you have to go one, two, three, four, one, five. One, two, three, four, five, and it's back on. Okay. So show me the parts of the vape and how to, what do I do? Okay, I got it. Now what, what the heck okay. am I going to do? Let's say first you want to charge your battery. So okay. you take your battery. So that right there twists. is the battery. Yes, this whole piece is the battery. Okay. And this twists into the port and you just plug it into the wall. And what's great on the Kanger ch chargers is it will turn red when you plug it in saying the battery is dead. When the battery is fully charged, this light will turn green. And right. There's a light right on there. How long does it take to charge up? It will take a couple hours if it's fully, if the battery is fully dead, it will take a couple right. hours. That's why it's good to have a couple of extra batteries on. It along. is, absolutely. And these kits come with two, so you're already set. Right. So yep. you've got one charging and you're using one at the same time. Yep. And what I like to do is I always have a couple chargers around. I always keep one in the USB port in my car. So I can charge a battery while I'm on the go, and I find my car charges it a little faster than the wall does. So. Wow, that's interesting. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah, as long as you keep the car running. Right. Um, then next we have, this is called a clearomizer. And this is the tip that you inhale out of when you have it connected to the battery. I'll just have it connected just to show you. Okay, so you just screw the battery on the so bottom of the clearomizer. So you just screw the battery onto the clearomizer. Right. And you can see there's a little chamber inside of here. When you fill it up with fluid, you can see the fluid rise 
and as you're vaping you can see your level go down and when it starts to get pretty low that's when you want to fill it up again okay so show me how we fill it with the juice all right now so you unscrew it from the battery so you unscrew it from the battery and there's actually another little screw there yep there's another piece and that here. sometimes that surprises that's where people get confused is right there yes. because because they put the juice in there and that's not where it goes no you have to take this off first and there's a chamber in there okay and pretty we'll there's talk nothing about to this piece later yeah there's nothing to it no you just put your fluid in here now what I like to describe this is like one of those old washing machines that has that pole in the middle of it so this has a chamber where the uh, vapor comes through yeah. And that little chamber, you want to make sure that the fluid does not go inside of that chamber and it stays to the side of the wall. Yeah, well, if you do, then you're going to taste it, aren't you? You are going to taste it. And Blah. what's great is you can wash these. If right. you get any nicotine through that chamber, when you inhale through here, yeah. it's going to come right out and you're going to get liquid in there. So you'll know when you get it in there. Right, um, so just just water is all you really just need. Just water. Just pour it under yeah, the sink. Pour it into the sink, rinse it down the drain, and start over. Rinse right. it out. Okay. Um, now this piece, the one that I unscrewed from here, this piece, this is your coil. And the Kanger Evod model has two filaments, one here and one here, sticking out on each side. This is actually one piece. You can pull it out. Do not do that. This actually does come off, and you right, can so you replace your in. coils. Yes. Right now, that what that happens is so the principle is the battery. The battery uh, is there to provide the power. It heats up the coil. Mm -hmm. It it and the the coil then heats up the the juice, and that's how you get vapor. Yes. It's a simple process. Yes. So these things die right here. The coils. Yes. Yeah. Now, if you are a heavy vapor, I would say change your coil every two weeks. Um, if you taste a kind of a burnt flavor, if your flavor changes and it tastes kind of burnt, you know you need to change your coil out. And inside the Kanger Evod kit, it comes with five additional coils. Oh, great. So that'll last you a long time. You can order, just order the coils as and you run it. you can out. order just the coils. You guys carry them. that? We do. We have the coil units. Um, they come in different ohms, and that's just the level of power that they're using. Right. Yep. So, so that's so, just your own personal preference. So you can you can actually repl you could order a bigger battery to go on here, too, yes, right? Yes, you can. Absolutely. And we do have those on. I forgot to bring some. But I do, we do have bigger batteries. If you want a longer shelf life of your battery, then right. we do have some available. Well, that's good. That will fit on there. Yep. Cool. Now, uh, one of the things you'll be doing quite a bit is filling it up with yes. juice. And so what I did, and this is kind of my own little invention, here is the bottle of vape from that I got from you. And then I take a funnel. I just bought this at the hardware store or Walmart or whatever, a little cheap funnel. And then I take these, and you might unscrew that so we, yep. uh, while I can hold the and camera. I actually brought one that we have for sale. This is a 60 milliliter bottle. And we use cobalt blue bottles. You don't have to use cobalt. Um, so we have these cobalt bottles. We oh, used okay. to have um, amber bottles, just like the amber color bottle that you have. Right. What's different about these new bottles that we carry are they are child resistant. Oh, cool. You have to depress and turn in okay. order to get it off. So it does make it more child safe. Great. And so it then, works just like a regular dropper. So then you take the, uh, uh, just take the uh, funnel here. Put it in the top and pour from your bigger bottle into there and then you're covered. Exactly. Excellent. And while you're mixing your, well, we'll go into flavors later. I yeah, think. well, we can talk about flavors. For me, I just give me the straight stuff, okay. uh, you know, uh, but there are many different flavors, right? Oh, yes, many different flavors. Um, what I was going to say is first you'd want to measure out the, the flavors that you're going to be putting into the unflavored. This 
Nicotine that we sell is unflavored. Right. It's just nicotine. It's diluted down with the propylene glycol and the vegetable glycerin, like we talked about before. Right. And you want to mix out, uh, excuse me, measure out the flavor that you're going to put in, and then measure out the nicotine that you're going to add into it. It's a different ratio, and there's a bunch of online calculators we can talk about later. Depending upon the flavor, that. it tells you what yes. what the ratio is yes, exactly. from one to the other, because some yeah. flavors are heavier, is that it? Yeah, some flavors are heavier, some are more concentrated than others, some you only need a couple drops of, and some you need up to, I don't know, 40 drops, let's say. So what are your top five flavors, would you say? Oh, I would say the top five flavors would be strawberry, menthol, um, yeah, so if you smoke dessert. if you smoke menthol cigarettes, you you still yes. get that same feel to it. Yes, exactly. And our menthol is pure menthol. It's it's not uh, um, uh, some synthetic type. Yeah, right. exactly. It's menthol. Yes. And you do this all in house yourself too, right? Yeah, we do. Um, we have a few employees, and my husband and I run the business. We own the business. And we have a few employees, and it's a small little family, but we make it work. It's a well-oiled machine, and uh, we do have a small space, but uh, it works for us. So, so that's pretty much it, isn't it? Is there anything else we need to talk about? Uh, I think mixing would be a good one. Mixing. Yes. Okay, so once you put the drops in there. Oh, well, actually, yeah. Once you put the flavor in there, um, or your your nicotine, your e-juice, once you right. put your e-juice into there, I think it's important to tell you when you're using your electronic cigarette for the very first time, you're going to get a very strong throat hit. And you need to be prepared for that. It's not like smoking a cigarette. You don't want to inhale deeply because you are going to start coughing. Right. So you want to depress your button and just a little bit and inhale that little bit. Um, otherwise, you'll start coughing, and you're probably not going to have a very good experience for the first time. Right. I've seen so it time take it and easy. time again. Right, a good point, good right. tip. Cool. Okay, well, so uh, we're going to put this up on YouTube, so if you are watching this on YouTube, uh, or if you're watching it on RV Dream, and you have some questions or comments or anything else, please provide those to us. And at the same time, you can go to ejuice4u.com and you can order anything and they can call you too can't they mindy oh absolutely if you have any questions don't hesitate to call we do prefer email because we are a small company we have a very large business um, but not many employees we're most of, we spend most of our business day working in the lab fulfilling your orders so um, we would prefer to get email um, you can email us at info at ejuice for you Dot com and we would be happy to email you by the end of the business day but if you do prefer a phone call if you have more than one question or it's a little too confusing we're always happy to take a phone call if we're not available immediately we will call you back by the end of the day and we really it's been a very positive experience for us and so that's why we have it up on RV dream I know there are a lot of RVers who smoke uh, and a lot and most everybody I talk to then says I say do you smoke and they go yeah and the next thing they say is, I'm trying to quit. Yeah. And so it's not something that most everybody really doesn't want to get rid of. And this is one way to do it. And go on Google and go on the different studies and read on online uh, and what people have to say about it. And then make your own judgment about whether you think it's healthy or not. Absolutely. No doctor is going to tell you that it's good for you because they don't want you to do anything other than kind of sit in a chair all day and not move. <laughs> Except they want you to get up now and then, too. Right. That's about it. So, yes, exercise. So listening to your doctor is, you can listen if you want to, but that no doctor is going to say, oh, yeah, you should be vaping. Right. Uh, but I still believe that uh, if you can stop smoking those camels, um, then this is worthwhile, worthwhile trade. And if you, but we are we're not, you know, we haven't been doing the studies or anything else. I know I've done my own judgment, and from my judgment, it's a real positive thing. Same with you, huh? Yes. Great. ejuice4u.com. Mindy, thank you very much for coming over and doing this with us.